Now I'm going to explain how to draw the line and how to understand the giving line here between your V1 and L0 or between the feet coordinates and the solvent coordinates the raffinate coordinates with the extract coordinates okay so let's begin now so once you have okay once you have the coordinates for the uh, all the streams involved okay what you need to do is to connect or to draw a straight line between the feed coordinates and the solvent coordinates okay and then you need to connect uh, the uh, raffinate coordinates with the extract coordinates. Okay, so at the middle part, at the intersection between these two particular straight lines, so you're going to have a position for coordinates M. The question now is that why do we need these uh, two particular lines? Okay. Okay, so not every data will be given to you so that it is easy for you to plot L1, L0, V1, and V2. So you need to have this particular information so that you understand what's going on. Okay, so sometimes you have only three coordinates. Okay, let's say L1, L0, and V2. You don't know your V1, which is the information for the extract. So the only way to know is to make sure that you understand how to plot the point M. Okay, so if you know L0 and V2, you just draw a straight line. Okay, but if you know your M, you just plot the coordinate for M first. And then you know your L1, so you just connect these two points first. Okay, so by extending this line from L1 to M, Further, you extend until it intercepts the equilibrium curve. That will be the position for V1, okay, which is your extract. So by knowing this point, you can find the information on your uh, extract, okay, for your extract. Therefore, you know the composition of solute by drawing a dotted line to the bottom or to the y-axis. You get the value or the coordinates for A and then by drawing dotted line to the horizontal line, by producing horizontal line to the y-axis, you get the composition for the C or for your solvent. Therefore, at the same time, to know the composition for your B, you just have to minus 1 minus the total of A and C to get your composition for your diluent. So this is how it works. Okay, this is how it works. Right. So you need to have the information on this particular M.